Alright guys, it's Canadian, and today we're doing another VOD review. Uh, this is for Delta123 Gaming. Uh, we don't know what tier he is, so we're just going to say he's Platinum or Diamond, you know, in the middle of the pack. Um, if this is your first time watching one of these, I am Canadian. I'm a 4200 Zarya main player, Season 3 and Season 4. I do a lot of Zarya VOD reviews, guides, and gameplay on my YouTube channel. All that stuff will be in the description. Anyway, let's get started with this review. Uh, this that was like a really awkward bubble because like Winston jumped in but like let's look at like right like right when we apply this bubble I mean Winston leaping in is not a good enough reason to use your um, personal shield so I'm, I'm really not a fan of this bubble the uh, the follow-up bubble you get on whoever he dives is fine but because you know you see that Winston he picks a target. Oh, excuse me, let me change to blue. Um, he picks a target, and then you bubble them. You know that's this is a this is a good bubble. Your projected barrier. You're not going to get much energy for it because Winston's damage is actually really low. But at least you know Winston's not getting anything accomplished by jumping into the enemy team. But your personal shield was not good at all. Good kill, by the way, I'm commending you for not reloading between kills, so you reload here with 7 ammo, which um, you could have tossed out a grenade with this 7 ammo, not a big deal, but just something to think about, um, but right here, right when you kill Winston, uh, good job not reloading, right, you've got 50 ammo left, er, you've got 50 ammo left, there's no need to reload, Zarya is right in front of us, so good job there. Uh, that 25 ammo reload, so... Someone was asking me about this today is when to reload versus another Zarya and if the enemy Zarya if it if, if it's just strictly you and Zarya fighting and there's no one else around to shoot when the enemy Zarya bubbles you can reload because it's a two second bubble and you don't want to feed her energy and you can get your reload off by the time her bubble finishes. Now if we look in this frame we have 25 ammo left and we're already reloading and Zarya has not popped a bubble so this reload i'm not a huge fan of you still have 25 ammo you could still be damaging her however if we play it <coughs> we slow it down and play we see that now that she's bubbled she's probably she might get away because we were we were reloading doesn't doesn't look like it though your soldier came back for her too so Definitely I eat some spam versus this Pharah here. That's the best that's your best bet for keeping up energy. So you use a personal shield hero to try and get some spam, but make sure you see the spam coming out of Pharah first before you use your shield here. As you can as we see in the next moment here, um we only got like 17 energy when Pharah gives away 40 energy like free candy. So definitely, you know, work on eating spam versus Pharah. Again, so you're, you, this is the same mistake from before. Winston jumps in, and you shield yourself when it's just not necessary. Unless Winston, like, starts shooting at you, then shield yourself. But, th like, this was another wasted personal shield. There's an... You wanted to help your McCree, but your McCree's positioning is kind of wonky. He's standing over here away from your entire team. If he's, if he's going to do this your Reinhardt needs to be standing uh, right here so that way your whole team can stand kind of in this area and then you can rotate to either side but since McCree is so separated you your the bulk of your team can't rotate to help them and unfortunately you, I like I'm I believe you want this bubble you, you want to bubble the McCree but there's just the phone I believe the phone booth is in the way so he, he does die Ooh, I'm not a fan of this bubble either. <laughs>
Like your Reinhardt just charged, so you know that he he doesn't have it up, so he he can't be aggressive, and he's full health, so he's not taking any damage. Like he swings, but like there's no one around, right? We see him swing, right here, but like we can see ourselves that there's no one in, like in his swing radius, and this bubble doesn't really accomplish anything. It's just kind of using it for the sake of using it like you guys haven't won the fight so it's not a we've won the fight bubble and you guys haven't lost the fight yet because you haven't lost the fight either you're kind of inching towards a loss because your mccree did go down that fair is going to go uh just gotta get a free reign but like this bubble i bet in the next 10 seconds we'll see a better bubble Oh, you guys still have soldiers, so I take it back. Farrah is not going to have free reign. Good decision, by the way. You see that she's getting healed by Mercy. You can either kill the Mercy or just give up because you're not going to kill the Zarya. Both you and your Reinhardt just kind of abandon your backline as we like see in this engagement, right? You know, Reinhardt and Zarya both go forward, both push into the choke. And our Lucio, Anna, uh, sorry, Lucio, Anna, and Soldier are just kind of by themselves, which isn't the worst thing. It's just, like... I don't know how much you guys are going to get accomplished because you don't have any chase potential because Lucio is not with you. Oh, uh, that bubble was okay. It looks like someone said in comms, Tracer's in the back, so that's why we bubble our Lucio here because we know that Tracer is attack in the back line, so that's a good bubble there. Um, There's been a couple seconds of doing nothing right here, so we could probably, right here, we could probably have done a reload since there's no one around and we're not acquiring anyone just a little uh just a small thing there oh uh, definitely poor target prioritization in this earth shatter your right heart gets a great earth shatter you kill the mercy 100 percent. if we look right here we see that mercy is lying down right here sure there's zarya but this mercy is the target Right, because if you even if he he shattered their whole team and you killed all five of them except Mercy, Mercy's gonna stand up and rest. So definitely gotta focus her. Good bubble there on your Reinhardt to save him from the grenade. <clears throat> I'm gonna. I I kind of think that was luck. Because. I, I mean, you bubbled him. Like, this is a fine bubble, like, by itself, because your Reinhardt is in, in the midst of, like, one, two, three, four enemies. He is at about 150 HP, so this is still a good bubble. Um, it's just the cherry on top that you and Tracer both decided to use your abilities on Reinhardt right as you bubbled him. But still, good job, for, good job there. Oh, why did you give up on the Zarya? Right, you had a great grenade. Right, you and then you just you just look away from her. Right, why I I'm not I don't know about that. You could have beamed her before she shielded. She has like ten HP. That was a bit. That was kind of weird. Let's go back and watch that in slow mo. Uh, uh I don't know how to work with slow mo yet, guys. I apologize. Yeah, let's let's do this now. Yeah, see, nope, I can't, I can't figure out slow mo. Another time, um, yeah. So just kind of a a strained fight from your team. You know, you lot guys, lot you guys had a numbers disadvantage. The target selection in the Reinhardt ultimate was not great. You had you had a good bubbles, so that's a plus. I mean, you're keeping your front line up. What was that reload, by the way? I'm pretty sure it was zero. Definitely use beam a little bit more, at least in this life. You know, grenade and then use... If you used beam right here, you after this grenade, you would have killed Zarya. You start to use beam. You do, you are at 5 ammo, so this reload's fine. Alright, so you've entered a poke phase. So now is the time to get free energy from this Pharah. There you go. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. Careful with this Graviton. Make You have to catch Mercy in it. I don't think she's rezzed yet. Pushing, pushing. 
you're I think you were forcing the grab way too hard. So let's talk about why. So we have the arch right here, but look where the payload is. Like you don't have to push this far for a graviton. You can wait for the payload to, you know, be in a more advantageous position for you cuz the enemy team it like you catch it looks like three people. So it's not a bad grab initially. Um but to but it, you're forcing it really hard, especially because I'm pretty sure the enemy team still has their grab barrage combo. And if you're standing on this side of the arches here, you can you know watch the high ground in case Farah like comes over. But if when you run into here, Farah could be right above you, and you have no idea. She could be in this window. Uh, your team is going to have to funnel into this arch to to uh, push this grab, and that's what you want the enemy team to do you want them to push this arch so they're clumped up and then you grab yourself so i don't know if i saw an ultimate combo i don't remember seeing a scoreboard we're seeing oh there's a scoreboard trying to get the scoreboard okay so we have high noon as our main combo for this graviton so i would hope that's the play here um i I, I, earlier I said you have to catch Mercy, but if we see they do not have Mercy anymore, they also do not have Pharah, so that's my mistake. Uh, so the other, so the main thing is now that they don't have Mercy or Pharah, we know that they don't have Barrage, they don't have Resurrect, and the main threat to your Graviton is Winston, and the only reason why is because if he can put up his his bubble, that will make it harder for your team to follow up on Grab. So the play should be to wait for them to. Um, push arches excuse me wait for them to push arches when they come through winston's gonna like leap onto your team and then right when he does that the enemy team is open to, is like it's open season right zarya can't escape soldier can't escape anna can't escape lucio can't escape that's four enemies that can't escape graviton and their only protection winston just leapt away from their team that that would be the window i would look for in this situation Anyway, let's look uh, how this look perfect. That's exactly what I was talking about, right? We we push so far into this choke, we catch good members, but Winston is right there with the bubble, and like this, Winston wants to jump into your team, so you can take advantage of that. Wait for him to make that crucial mistake, and then use your graviton. But then we see exactly what I was talking about, right? Winston's here. He puts up his bubble, and now this we're gonna have a hard time capitalizing on this. Right? Look, right? We didn't get anything. We didn't get anything for that. And they had sound barrier. And I don't think there was any follow up from McCree. Oh, there, if we looked, if you guys saw right there, McCree was high nooning in the back. I think he just started though. I think it was a little delayed. Let's see if we can hear the voice line. Yeah, he just used it right when sound barrier was used. That's unfortunate. Um, all right, let's talk about your bubbles here. Good job reloading before your graviton. And you know, the Graviton's not my favorite, but that's a good habit to get into is to reload before your grab, so that was good. Um, using your own bubble to ensure you can get the Graviton off, also good. It's pretty standard, but still good, you know, good to commend you for it. Uh, your Reinhardt goes in deep, you're backing out. What was your reload there? 13 ammo reload. See, this this 13 ammo, like, yes, you're low on it. You are low on ammo, so it's not a bad idea to reload, but why not just use the one grenade you have left in your ammo and then reload? It's just it's just such a small thing. It's not it's not too big a deal, but the thing is, uh, if this this is, like, a, a really bad habit and, like, well, this reload's not a big deal, it, it'll probably be a big deal later in this video. Um, anyway, so you reload, Reinhardt's in deep, you get a good bubble on him. Yeah, there's the high noon by the way. So that was that worked out really well. From the the follow up after the grab was good. <laughs> Honestly, I think the enemy Lucio misplayed. Like you grabbed, but just looking if I'm Lucio looking at the enemy team, they don't have that much follow up. So once Winston bubble went down, I like Lucio should have waited just a little bit to sound barrier. And then when they were okay, they can push in. And then when the high noon comes out, then he could have used um, sound barrier. But I think they were actually pretty close together. So, so I just disregard what I just said because if I remember hearing the voice line, it happened right about the same time as the uh, as the high noon. And I guess the enemy then misplayed by not hiding. 
adequately. Like, everyone's fighting, but the High Noon is still going off, right? There's Winston fighting. I, and Soldier and Lucio, I honestly can't see. This Zarya gets a good grab, but, her, but half her team just died. So... I, the only follow-up is going to be a tracer bomb, and I think I just heard Anna sleep her. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. They weren't the enemy team wasn't ready to combo. Good bubble on your Ryan to cleanse him. That's really good. Now your Anna can heal him up. Man, how did you, you took a chunk of damage let's let's look at these bubbles the first one i saw your first bubble on ryan that was good right look how weak ryan is right he's got about 100 hp and this bubble is cleansing that debuff so now our two healers can heal him so that's a great bubble there good job eating a bunch of damage with your personal shield I would recommend using grenade just a little bit more versus this tracer. She's so nimble. Like one grenade right here would kill her. You you go for it, but it's just a little bit too slow. So you have the right idea. Just you know, just use it a little bit sooner. Um, let's see, 54, 45, 35. All right, so here we used our all our entire magazine, so that's good. What was our energy here? 73 so we this is a great personal shield because we're we're running ourselves into the enemy team their winston just died they don't have any shields their only disengage is speed really so if we speed into them as the blue team the red team isn't going to get away however you just have to make sure your entire team follows up which i believe is going to be the case here and now now that you have free reign of the enemy team you have to pick your targets wisely right you've got i think lucio's around here somewhere we've got soldier zarya but like between these three, you know, there's hidden option number four. Enemy Anna is right next to us. So I really hope our Zarya turns on this Anna in the next like couple seconds. Uh, I was not a fan of this second reload. That first reload was fine. 67, 42, 42 ammo reload like mid fight, and there's a bunch of enemies right here. Mm. It's not the worst reload, but it's not, it's not a great reload. I, reload either. Oh, uh, you definitely could have spammed grenades into here. Like, you know that right when she enters the bar, that she's going for this health pack. So, right at this moment, you could be shooting a grenade about right here, and right here, and right here, to try and catch her as she goes for the health pack. You have the ammo to toss out two grenades and then follow up. Like, right here, we can't see her health because we haven't damaged her. Look how weak she is, right? She was at about 100 HP. We're at 99 charge. If we had uh, done a preemptive grenade here, it would have done 95 damage, and she'd have five, like five HP left. So, um, just for just really utilize the AOE from that grenade. Again, it's it, it seems like such a small thing, but it definitely it's it's really good to like. How do I want to put this? Cheat cheat grenades at health packs, right? If you know a weak enemy is going for health pack then you know the path that they're going to take and you can use a grenade to try and kill them before they pick it up. Where was our bubble here? It was on our nano boosted ally who's I'm yeah okay so this is a great bubble we're using it on our ally that is using their tac visor so Pretty standard, but ver still very good all the same. Mm. I understand why you're ignoring this Lucio, because the rest of your team can handle him, but you're not going to chase down a Tracer, so you should have just killed Lucio with the rest of your team. The Lucio is still alive. See, look, your teammate just said he's back alley, he got out. So th uh, this is just a targeting mistake from our Zarya here. If we turn it up, Lucio on point. Lucio is right in front of us. So our choices is Zarya or Lucio or Tracer. We are at zero charge. We are not going to kill Tracer with zero charge. She's just going to get away. But Lucio, we can, more, we can, we are more likely to kill this Lucio than that Tracer. So unfortunately, 
Arzaria does go for the Tracer. And your the team isn't able to clean up the Lucio, and he does get out. And that is so unfortunate. That would have been a great stagger. Did, oh, okay. I was about to say, I want to see a scoreboard because I'm surprised Reinhardt didn't Earth Shatter there. All right, so we've got we've got um, Grav High Noon again. So again, I want the same thing I said before. We want this Winston to leap out. We want to use Grav High Noon, and we want to kill the other members. You, we can, at least four of them, one, two, three, four, cannot escape Graviton. The Lucio did get killed, so that's good. This shield, I know, I know it was a poke phase, and you wanted some energy, and he, you saw him get hit. But it's it's a, if you're, especially if this is a scrim, so you're in a team environment, you say, "Soldier, I'm shielding." You take some damage. That way, he knows because right when you shield him, he runs away from the corner, and then even when he was about to take damage on the shield, you body block him with your own shield. So just a little bit of a timing thing um, and communication issue there. Just clean that up a bit, and you'll be sitting at higher energy more consistently. So the Winston is out of the team, and his bubble is down. So now is the time to look for a grab. I think you're okay, though. You've already killed two people. You don't need to grab. You can save the grab to win the next fight. There was only a minute 24 left, so I'm really hoping you do not grab. Good job with the um, grenade, me or, um, yeah, grenade melee. That was a great finish. Let me look at your bubbles. I feel like I haven't talked about your bubbles enough, and I apologize. So why, I guess why this bubble here on your Lucio? Like, nothing's happening to him that he needs this bubble. So, like, I would have bubbled my Reinhardt, especially because in the next two seconds, you know, he, we get pulled into grab, and bubbling me and Reinhardt would have been um, really great. He doesn't die, fortunately, but the bubble on Lucio just seemed kind of uh, reckless. Like, we get energy from it, but if our goal is Zarya is to get energy, then that's a playstyle thing, and I'm just going to point it out every time. Because we bubble him, we get about 20, 30 energy from it, which, again, energy is great to have a Zarya. I'm, I'm, you're never going to hear me say that low-energy Zarya is better than high-energy Zarya. High-energy Zarya is the dream. But, you know, we want our bubbles to make an impact, and I don't think that one did that much except, you know, give us some energy. What was our personal shield? I think we used it in the grab. Yeah, the personal shield was great, obviously. You protected, just protected yourself from the um, tracer bomb, so that's good. <clears throat> good long-range grenades there. I, I want to see you like really, really get some good spam energy here with your personal shield, and you'll be at 100 energy. Uh... Close, but no cigar, unfortunately. Ooh, did no one call out the hog on your team? I am, I am fast forwarding, so I, I can't hear comms that well. But definitely, you know, if you think the enemy team is doing some hero switches, look at the scoreboard, verify if they did switch heroes, so you'd be more prepared for that hog. At least you got the graviton off, and your Reinhardt did get the follow up, so it worked out in your favor. You know, a warning to all Roadhogs out there, this is one of the main reasons you don't want to hook Zarya. If you're going to hook Zarya, be away from your team. Otherwise, you're giving her, like, a free Graviton, which is exactly what we see happen, right? We get pulled. We Our Zarya is like, I'm dead, but I, I can make the most of it. We see three enemies that cannot escape Graviton on our screen. We get a really good grab. The bubble follow-up is there from the Winston, but fortunately, our Reinhardt... Our ally Reinhardt makes a huge pay. He walks into the bubble. It does break, I think, from the high noon. And then we get a great follow-up Earth Shatter. Yeah, that, so that, that worked, it worked out in your favor. But just be definitely be more aware of the, uh, the Roadhog. Alright, let's look at these barriers here. Barriered ourselves. We buried our Reinhardt or their frontliner, so this is good. What this does, especially in like an overtime situation, it's it's putting up a giant wall saying you have to get through us if you want to get to our backline. 
right? And we get a bunch of energy for about 60, so not the maximum amount, but still a good amount. Great bubble there on the Reinhardt, so Roadhog can hook him. All right, so the the main um, takeaways from that first round are just be a little more uh, thoughtful with your projected barrier and try to do a better job of eating spam with your personal shield to really pump up your energy. Uh, I, you didn't have that. You didn't have too many reload issues. There's just a couple like really really small ones. Um, and the main thing is with your gravitons, you know, be aware of the enemy team composition and what what they are trying to do. And I'm I'm just going back to if their only protection is a Winston bubble. Winston is not a character that just wants to sit with his team unless they're doing a babysitter Winston. But babysitter Winston usually plays with a Reinhardt. That way you have that big front shield. Um, and since they were running like a pseudo dive, you know that Winston wants to jump into your team and take advantage of that tendency from the Winston player for him to jump away from his team with their only shield. And then you can get a really clean, easy Graviton off. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button on the right hand side. And if you want to see more videos, check out these two on the left. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.